everyone. One of our booklets on display in our CTS, that's the Catholic Truth Society stand at the back of the church, is entitled The Four Last Things. Now, as we approach the end of the liturgical year, the church invites us to focus our minds on the same death, judgment, heaven and hell. Now, judgment after death, which is one of those last things, may conjure up images of us standing before a rather grim-faced judge who goes on berating us for all sorts of offences we've committed in this life. We're scared stiff. Judgment could go either way. Well, I can't see that being the case. First, the cards are stacked firmly in our favour because God is a merciful judge beyond compare. St. Teresa of the Child Jesus said that the sum total of our confessed sins can be compared to a spoon of water dropped into a blazing furnace. The furnace of God's mercy. Now, it's well known that St. Augustine, quite wayward in his youth, had first-hand experience of that mercy, mainly due to the prayers of his mother Monica, who is also a saint. However, in his writings, the Confessions, he is quoted as saying that he would rather be judged by God than his own mother, even though when he turned his back on God, she never gave up on him. Her prayers were answered when in due course he turned his life around. Unlike us, when God forgives, he suffers from total amnesia. Psalm 103 says it all. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. Scripture reassures us that when we repent of our sins, God will never drag them up again, like we do sometimes. On the day of judgment, before him on his desk, if he has a desk, there will be a tabula rasa, a blank sheet. And even if our CV appears to have some shady areas whereby judgment could go either way, my reading of scripture is that God will be looking for any loopholes he can find to offer us a reprieve. When St. Paul was speaking about the nature of true love, he said, Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but is always ready to excuse. Now, if we mere humans are expected to make allowances for the mistakes of others, then how much more will God, the author of love? He knows us inside out, and when we appear before him on the judgment seat, he will have taken into account the times when our judgment was clouded and our ability to act as free human agents somewhat impaired. We know that one of the sure ways to escape a harsh judgment is us not sitting in judgment on others. Jesus said, Blessed are the merciful. They shall have mercy shown them. The amount of mercy you measure out is the amount you're going to be given back in return. Scripture tells us that the merciful need have no fear of judgment. And on the day of reckoning, the Lord will take their part with their names written in the book of life. Thank you all very much for listening and God bless you all.